Iron Horse shot and killed his in-laws at their home. Now, you may not know Sergeant Iron Horse because his real name is Scott Panetti. Panetti was brought to court and had his trial done. At the end of his trial, the jury convicted him of guilty of murder and sentenced him to execution. However, after his sentence, there's been much outcry against his execution. Which brings us to today's question. Is Texas within its rights in executing Scott Panetti? My answer is no. Texas is not within its rights in executing this severely ill man for three reasons. One, he is too mentally ill to be executed. Two, he is, was not able to stand trial by himself. And three, it is against American laws and human values in executing this severely mentally ill man. First, he is too mentally ill to be executed. According to Dahlia Lithwick, a writer for Slate.com, Scott Panetti received a diagnosis of schizophrenia in 1978 at the age of 20. Since then, he has been hospitalized 14 times at six different mental institutions from 1981 to 1992. During this time, he would have random psychotic episodes, one of which included when he tried to wash the devil from his walls and put his furniture on the front yard. Then in September 1992, he shot and killed his in-laws at their home while his wife and daughter were watching. He later confessed to the crime, but said it was his alter ego, a man named Sergeant Iron Horse. This brings me to my second reason. Scott Panetti was not competent to stand trial. According to the Texas Tribune, in 1994, a psychiatrist for the defense concluded that he was not competent to stand trial. Then a psychiatrist for the prosecution agreed with the past diagnosis of schizophrenia and concluded that his psychotic behavior might interfere with his ability to communicate with the counsel. The doctor also agreed that Scott Panetti could not determine what year it was and who the president was at, president was at that time. Yet even after this, he concluded that Scott Panetti is stable to tra stand trial, and the jury agreed. This is the court's biggest mistake, because at Scott Panetti's trial, the psychiatrist's worst fears came true. Scott Panetti's trial was a sham. He dressed himself in a purple cowboy suit, wearing a hat, and cross-examined himself at the witness box. He also called to witness over 200 people, including John F. Kennedy, the Pope, and Jesus Christ. This brings me to my third reason. It is against American law and human values to execute Scott Panetti. According to Panetti's attorneys, Gregory Wirkoch and Catherine Case, Executing Scott Panetti is in violation of the Eighth Amendment, which bars cruel and unusual punishment. They went further to say that Texas would be crossing a line by executing this severely ill man. And they claim that it is against our values as Americans in executing Scott Panetti. In conclusion, Scott Panetti cannot be executed for those three reasons. He is too mentally ill to be killed. He was not stable enough to stand his own trial, and it's against American law and human values to execute him. Or, as former Texas Governor Mark White stated, executing Scott Panetti would say a lot more about us than it would about the man we are trying to kill. Thank you.